Welcome back to Billy Zane Rose Inn, the Nox event, and this is Oddball. Maybe three, they might be on the other side of the house. Nope. Oh, come, 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 over this way, over this way. Okay, let's play the fence game. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Billy frantically stops on the zombie skull to crush it. But it's too thick, giving enough no, time no, for no, the no, other no, one. No, 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 no. I made it this far. I made it this far. He moves in to try to get an upper hand on the zombie. Don't see any bleeding. Oh, I, we are bleeding. Son of a bitch. Billy Zane Rose is bleeding out like a stuck pig. He is closer to death than he has ever been shit, before. Shit. He is growing weak and starting to fade. He must act quick. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Get on there. Oh my god. Jesus. He hops the fence and makes his way towards the house. Okay, they're down there. Come on. With the window not budging, he sneaks to the front door to see if that's unlocked. Yeah, figures. He then checks the kitchen window. Oh, thank God. Billy has a sigh of relief as he climbs to the window, but he's not out of danger yet. He must clear the house, but that has to wait as a canned bean catches his eye. Oh, give me the beans. Oh my god, I'm so gone. He gargles as the juice from the can of beans dribble down his cheeks and then down onto his torn, buddy lab coat. He then turns to the fridge and devours everything in there like a ravenous mogwai after midnight. Let's eat you all. Why not? I am a hungry boy. I am severely, severely damaged. But we are still alive. And let's have a cigarette. Whew, Billy Zane deserves this. A loud thud from upstairs breaks the silence and Billy snaps back into reality, totally forgetting about the danger he is in. Like the white person he is, Billy checks it out. Ooh, you got a kinky one. Hey, some good bandages, all right. Oh, that makes me think of Sapphire. I wonder how my wife is doing. Not good at all. Well, at this point, she's fine. She doesn't die until nearly three months into the Nox event, even though her timeline began in March in my series. But my series timelines are just as solid as for the FNAF timelines. With the house being clear, Billy grabs some books to read while his wounds heal. He also gives himself a quick wash and cleans his wounds. Poor old Billy Zane is still in bad shape. Two severe lacerations on his hands, a scratch, and a moderate laceration on his lower torso. After dressing his wounds, he finally lights up a joint that he found back at the reception desk. God bless her. Billy wasn't much of a toker, but after having a day like that yesterday, I think it makes it a pretty good exception. Billy Zane Rose could finally fall asleep. There we go. Stylish. Okay, today we're gonna check out the houses. Before we get to Rosewood, I want to check out this shed here, and then look over here for weapons, and then swing here, and then push north. Before heading out, Billy tries the phone, but the lines are down. Since there's no TV, he can't see how far the virus has spread. He eats a quick lunch since he's unsure when he'll find the next meal, so he's going to enjoy those canned pineapples. Okay, let's see. Do we have any weapons over here? Nope, but we got some zombies. Oh, I can't smoke, goddammit. Well, we'll ignore that. He grabs the attention of one so he can fight one at a time since he's still severely wounded. Try to get one over here. I'm on this way. One at a time. Make it easy for me. Becoming a pro with this. Yeah, if the zombies are over here like this, I can only imagine what Rosewood is like. I might be too late. Let's check on the inside over here. Billy checks to see if the coast is clear. They're far away, so they won't be a bother, so he heads back to the garage to check it out. Determined to get in, he heads back to check the window. Ooh, chainsaw! Screwdriver, wrench. Oh, yes, we got some weapons. We got some good stuff. 
Things are starting to look up for her, oh Billy. Fuel remaining, none. Oh, we gotta remember about this guy here. Empty gas can, mechanic two. Uh, throw these in the house. Then we'll come back for him later. Oh, jeez. Out of nowhere, a group of zombies wait back at the house where Billy stayed at the night, surprising him. He is not ready for a big fight as he's still weak from his wounds. It'll be a few days before he can be ready for a serious action. God, I swing so slow from being uh, all torn up. Off my door. I throw these glasses. I need the, some new ones. Before venturing off, Billy drops off some of the loot to free up his bag, so he can finally become the loot goblin he is. Two zombies wait for him near the spot where he nearly died the night before. Poor Billy Zane is getting flashbacks from all the near-death experiences escaping that cursed place. Today he has weapons, but he's still very weak. Cheese the fence. There's one. There's two. Well, let's not go that way. Oh, that's the barn here that was on the map. Oh, dang it. What? There is a house over there. Go check you out. In the confusion of last night, Billy walks by the barn that he used to lure the undead in to lose them. They catch sight of him and come right out after him. Come on, let's go. To the pile. Oh shit, there's more. Before Billy could sneak to the house, four zombies appear out of nowhere and startle him. There goes that. Stomp and stomp. Let's get one, two, three, four, five. Still two more down here. God damn it. A pair of gloves comes Billy's way. Hey, we got some gloves. He needs all the protection he can get. His clothes are getting torn to shreds and barely anything is left. Oh, let's wear these guys. All right, what do you got over here? I think we can take them. Oh shit, there's a bunch over there yet. And just lure a couple at a time. I think I could equip that, right? Yeah, let's uh, throw you on. And all the weapons we get. So we got a party house. Billy starts luring some of the zombies away before the others break out so he won't get overwhelmed with the zombies. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's getting late. The dude has some brains! What the fuck? Oh, clutch one. Oh, nice. Just in time for a new leather jacket. There are so many holes and tears in his lab coat. Oh, you son of a bitch. One by one, they fall down. Come on, flat top. Fall down. So far, so good. We've got a couple over there. Crap. Okay, let's just sneak inside and grab stuff and fall back. Billy starts cramming everything into his bag that he deems useful, which is pretty much everything at this point. Hey, bourbon. Food, food, food. Satchel. Give me that. He finds a sweet, sick, black electric guitar. It's better than nothing. Oh, I look like an old badass. Cordless drill. Let's, uh... Place this belt. Yeah, let's do that. Let's check out this garage quick. Damn it, locked. Is there a window? No. Defeated, Billy snakes his way back to the house. Billy is in too much pain to fall asleep, so he slams a can of beer to help him sleep. Let's drink this guy. Oh, there's sleeping tablets right there. Oops. The next day, Billy heads out for the next house, but a group of zombies are outside waiting for him. Okay, it's only four. I think we got this. Oh, 
stay down. Stay down. Nope, you son of a bitch. There we go. Just sit right there on top of them, and I'll just do the rest. His luck is starting to change. The ones that we had much needed painkillers. Painkillers. Looks like we'll take care of this group there. He starts making his way over to the smaller group to clear the path. The guitar takes them down with these. Let's see what we got down here. Two and three. Eh, let's take care of these guys here. God damn it! Luckily, it wasn't a bite this time. Poor old Billy Zane is still weak from his wounds. He has no business being out here. But with no supplies, he must venture out to find some and make his way to Rosewood to warn everyone if it's not too late. to check these wounds, see if they're uh, good or not. While inspecting his wounds, it turns out a few have finally healed. Hey, one thing healed. Two things healed. Billy gets closer to the house, barely any zombies in the way. He begins to sneak to try to get a surprise on the one. Finally clear, Billy makes his way in. And I'll take you. There wasn't too many useful items for Billy Zane Rose. Nothing really home to write about. Billy collects the guns and leaves them downstairs to find them easier again, and then sets off for the next house. Billy stops dead in his tracks. Huge hordes surround him. Oh my god, that's a lot. He quickly falls back. Ah, oh, shit. The hordes close in. So you're nice and easy. Come on. Panic is starting to take over Billy Zane Rose as other zombies join in. Shit. Shit. Billy makes a run for it. There are just too many of them. The sight of the tree sent a shiver down his spine. All the near-death experiences are still fresh in his mind after escaping the research facility through the deep forest. But he knows he must take a gamble and venture into the dense trees to lose that horde. Coming around. Coming around. Coming around. Sneak through here. Phew. Okay. Some lost track of him, but the others still follow him. Eventually, others join in. I'll deal with that. Shit. He is slowly being surrounded. They have, to got, they have to start dying soon. You son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I was going to get bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. The horde finally began to fall one by one. Oh, we're getting somewhere now. Here we go. Just in time as his weapon breaks. Oh, my good weapon. God damn. That's one hell of a fight. Damn it. Where would there be some weapons? Well, we are kind of close to the houses over here. Yeah, let's see if we'll sneak up through here. But that'll be in the next episode, as time is short. I hope everyone enjoyed this episode, and if you liked it and want to see more, drop a like. It'll help out the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh my god, it's so good. He gargles as the juice from the can of beans dribble down his cheeks and then down onto his torn, bloody lab coat. He then turns to the fridge and devours everything in there like a ravenous mogwai after midnight. <laughs>